Who's doing last time? Kenneth. Yo. Ah. <laughs> the man with the food poisoning. Yay. We believe we need in you. more energy. Yeah, we fine. Your DM is also sick, so you know, there you go. It's a good thing that I don't do character oh, voices because I would not be able to do them now. But anyway. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. Last time, uh, let's see, we were traveling to Autumn Sprite's domain because it was believed that he had taken an item that got gone when the giants were defeated before and silver was assisting with this <clears throat> and we found a person on the way i can't remember if they gave a name but we found a person on the way and they were trying to get to some place other than where we were going or where we were coming from, but they were ambushed and not entirely all there. So we agreed to help them get where they're going after this side trip. And... Silver was basically given an ultimatum that if she wants the item back and doesn't want to fight for it, she has to give everything of hers and they will give it to her. And she actually goes through with this and starts giving all of her stuff to them. And inevitably, uh, okay. Um, inevitably a, um, a little spat breaks out regardless. And, and incensed and, Young decided this was not acceptable. Right. And so people were making a dash to recollect Silver stuff to give back to her and... Oh, it apparently come one of the dudes is moldy. Um, that's probably a thing. Um, he he's one of those like extra natural funk druids, like the longer he doesn't bathe or something. Yeah, <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those kind of druids. No, <laughs> he does live no. in a, a cave that's like littered with mushrooms and stuff. No. He seems to be happy with his funk, too. Um, oh, and apparently he summons some kind of animal or other towards the end of last session. Was it a bear? Yes. Yes. Yay, he summons a booger bear. Um, uh, in continuing mm. on from this crazy combat. I see that I rolled about as well as I normally do. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, I mean, usually the ones that get, you know, end on the end game of the initiative order is uh, Bjorn and Silver, so it's fitting. They have horrible dexterity. So. Um, I thought Bjorn had better dexterity than Silver. Not by much. Uh, let's see. What is your dex? Two? I'm taking a peek real quick. Hold on. Uh, da -da. yeah, two. Mine's I five. have zero. <laughs> See? Huh. So, Bjorn just pissed off the gods at some point. Not sure how, not sure why, but something he did made them angry. Yes. Um, the hangry uh, gods. Anyway, uh, <laughs> with his first turn, uh, Oak here. Realizing that this is going to go into an actual combat situation, uh, Oak is going to cast a cure wound on Silver because, ow. Why? <laughs> Why? Because she's hurt and he can tell because she has an arrow stuck in her back. Okay. 
words can hurt. Uh, so we'll do, uh, uh, let's go with level four, which I think is, uh, 4d8 plus the wiz whatever your wisdom ability modifier is yes. wisdom uh, 19 Oosh. that's a crappy roll that, that is look we don't need any emotional damage <laughs> we got plenty on that, that already. We don't, need a, we don't need to be rolling dice on that. <laughs> and here I was about to type 98. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah. That is an oak's turn. In... Also, there's a bear. Go talk to the bear. I mean, technically he doesn't know there's a bear there because there's still darkness in there. <laughs> The bear roared last time. That's true. Uh, <sighs> so he's going to sort of try to keep. Oh it. shoot! There's an opening there. <laughs> Actually, no. He's he's gonna hang back for a moment. Uh, Lock the doorway. Don't let them escape. Eh. Land your druid, dude. Hooray. Oh shit. Uh. So. Ooh. Be scared of the great antlered one. Oh yeah, he is. He definitely is. Because he has like, what, three pairs of antlers on his helmet now? Something, Something like, that. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Cham, you stop that. Well. No, stop attention. That. He's trying to push stuff off my desk. That is well, what cats do. Yes. job to do. Yeah. Maybe, but she's off duty right now. <laughs> she's off duty. <laughs> Very nice. Uh. So for his action, he is going to make use of his wild shape, but he is not going to turn into an animal. He's going to appear to be covered in spores and mushrooms. Because that's the thing that he does. He's going to turn into a mushroom. I mean, kind of, yeah. Oh, was he, the, was he the goat last time that they saw in the middle of the night? No. Huh. He was not the goat. <laughs> oh, okay. He might have summoned the goat, though. Why would he summon a goat and let it just go eat? It was a spy goat. Yes. Spy goat. Anyway. Um, it is his action to do such a thing. Uh, he doesn't really have any bonus actions of usefulness. Actually, he does. Uh, so, he is going to... Uh, spend his bonus action. And he is going to... Base, he, he's going to say... Arm Sprite, you better protect my home and not just bolt. And that's going to be a very weird way to do a uh, inspirational kind of thing. Bam, go. Druid Bard. Druid Bard. <laughs> okay. So, how much of Silver's things are still on the floor? Uh, I don't know. It's in darkness. Did Skunk actually pick up her armor? I, I know he previously went for her sword, but... I don't think I got the armor. I think Yong got that. Yong didn't get the no, armor. No, she got the sword. I think armor and shield are probably still left behind. Well, I went looking for something, but I don't think I grabbed anything, either because I couldn't find it, or I yeah. don't know. I think you went looking for the sword, but you couldn't find it. Mm. Because... Young had actually took the sword. So, armor and uh, shield. Like, somewhere in the middle of the darkness. Yeah. And they were somewhere towards the center center? Yes. It's somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, 
Can I carefully move through what I think is a path that would collide me with stuff, and if I come across stuff, try and grab it and keep going? Yes. Um, you totally can. Uh, Bear is in darkness right now. So, can't do an attack well, of darkness. If I don't understand him, then he doesn't exist. Precisely, yes. Um, and he's also been told to guard all of the stuff. It's just, he can't see. So, uh... Sounds like his problem. It is, yes. So, uh, give me a, I suppose, investigation roll, or a perception roll, either or, at a disadvantage, technically, because it's darkness. Let's see if you can find anything. Okay. 31. Good God. Jeez! Okay. Uh, so you will find both her armor and her shield. Um, okay. Technically can, can only I... pick up one because they are heavy. Well. Okay. Well. With one I think action. due to how I am locating them, my goal would be grab first thing that I come across and keep going. Okay. So. Well, the armor is in many pieces. Yeah. So I would say shield. And then that is your turn. Um, how far am I able to walk, grab thing, and keep walking? Your full movement. It's just you didn't use your action for anything, so you can do your full movement from back there all the way up. Um, measure. <laughs> so something like that. Yep. And you're still invisible, so... Yep. Because you still have not done any kind of attacking action. So even though we, even when you get out of the darkness, you're still invisible. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> Bozo, hooray. Hooray. Uh, uh -oh. He is going to... Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. So. He is going to not. Uh. Load up one of his crossbow bolts. And. It's going to. Ah, it's going to. Uh. Crackle and cack. Cackle with electricity, Ray. Uh oh. Oh no. Um. And then he is going to fire. What in the line? No, he, he he's just gonna shoot an arrow at Young because he's right there. Okay. Um. Ah. Well, so much for that. Uh. That's great. So it ricochets off the wall, then ricochets off of here and shoots the mushroom man and then goes directly to the bear and then like dispels the darkness and makes treasure rain down from the ceiling. No. Oh. That would be actually very impressive in its own way. Right. Yeah. His as per the case with a notched arrow and a nat one, his gun jams because he has a crossbow. And his electricity sparks off of the gun, or off of his crossbow, and zaps himself. He's only going to take half the damage, though, because he technically would deal half damage on the miss anyway. So, uh... Eight. Eight, yes. Uh... Okay. It is now a young... Uh, seeing as how there's, from her perspective, other than maybe the bear, there's not really anyone in the darkness. Uh, Young's gonna drop the darkness thing that's up there. Because there's really no need for it right now. The bear has confetti stuck to his fur. Not confetti. Uh... 
spores. What is Yong doing? Very craftily getting back some of her key points with her handy dandy new item that she has. Oh, nice. Um, she yeah. she put her key on the clapper. Ha. Ah. And then she is going to actually do what her brother did not do and guard the vault so that people can't leave should they do, choose to do so. Let's go. All right. Well, since I'm pretty sure I ended off my previous turn by hiding my little ass. Yep. I am going to, I guess, just keep prioritizing the target I already shot. Yes. Just going to park my ass right there. And I'm going to shoot my bow. Jump down from the ledge. Yep. <laughs> Doing. I'm going to do this manually instead of rolling with advantage because it seems to break. Does that work? 19? Uh, for hitting bottom spray. Yep. Yay. All right. So first there's that. And then there's that. So, 31. Okay. Let's see here. That cost me how much of my movement to do? 15. So I've only got 15 left. I'm going to hop up there. If, I'll, if you'll allow it. I don't know how high that ledge is. Sure. Okay. And a bonus action attempt to hide again. Uh, by the way, Autumn Strike used Uncanny Dodge on your 31 damage. Ah! Does that mean he only took part of it or none of it? He took 15 instead of 31. Mm. Well, Rogues either way. man. Rogues man. Bonus action, tempting to hide. Pretty sure I got it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Pretty far. <laughs> He's the cobalt in the night. I am skunk. Yes. I feel like I'm missing a syllable, but I don't care. <laughs> skunk skunk clad. Silver. Uh -huh. Silver skunk. <laughs> All right. She's like, she's looking at Autumn, like he's some sort of prey. Actually, no, scratch that. She's staring at him like he's already dead to her, and she's figuring out a way to fillet his ass. Very like, nice. Okay, this guy is supposed to be a corpse. Let's see how we can make that happen. Okay, damn. Mm -hmm. What kind? Well, tell me what would take up her putting the scarf into the back folding and pulling out her sword. Is it a bonus action or whatever? Um, I would say uh, to mess with items that are in your possession is usually a bonus action sort of a thing. Okay. Then it's just, she's just like taking one item, stuffing it in, and drawing out another. So yeah. When, like, while you guys are sorting through all that, I'll be right back. I need to find a mouse. Mm -hmm. a, a, a mouse? For reasons. Um, what? I, I would say hey. you could spend your turn to do both of those things so that you at least have both. Well, I mean, I, I figured as a bonus action, it would be the same thing. Yeah. I'm back. I found a mouse. Yeah, sure. You can do both. Uh huh. To, to bonus action to put in your the uh, scarf and to get out sword. Yes. Okay, and she's gonna go walking up here. Uh, uh, she'll poke her holy symbol, I guess, oh. and cast a spell. A ring on her forefinger will glow, and she'll cast Warding Bond on Yang. Yep. So that's active. And she's gonna be like, hold on, I gotta measure. Yeah, okay. Excuse me, pardon me. Doot, doot, doot. Oh. She's just gonna walk up and be like, "Sup?" Oh, okay. Well, she doesn't say anything. She just like goes, taps on Yang, boarding Bond, and then 
Off she goes. Doesn't that do a plus two to AC? Yeah, it's plus two to our AC, and she takes, uh... Actually, no, it's, uh... Plus one to AC and saving throws. Okay. And has resistance to all damage, but I take the half. Right. Of the... That she doesn't take. Okie dokie. Bjorn. I am going to whack this gentleman with my sword. Cool. I'm sure I'm he see it. that. I am going to see if I can cut the mushrooms off of him. It... That'll be quite impressive. Seems oddly targeted, but you do you, man. Oh. That's a 25 to hit. That'll definitely hit. That being what it is, I'll go ahead and give him a Divine Smite at level 3. Uh, 18 plus 9. So, a total of, so 27 damage on that. Nice. Second attack. I'm assuming is a miss. Uh, uh, 12. Yes. Alright. That's Bjorn, folks. Okie dokie. Uh, Where's the bear on the turn order? Right after the uh, druid. Ah, okay. I don't see it on the list at all. Got confused. Yeah, because I, I don't have him on the list because he's just going to be part of the uh. turn. Weird uh. <laughs> musical druid man. Uh-huh. Uh. Okay. So. Oh. Uh. Well. Silver ran inside. Because of course he did. I mean, he's welcome to come inside too. Yeah, Oak is gonna come up this way, and he is going to do a guiding bolt, rawr, at Fungus Man there. Uh, 13 will miss. And then seeing Silver being a... Uh, aggressive sort and won't need to make an end to this situation uh he's actually going to do his own uh bardic inspiration type thing that he hasn't ever done really yay uh you inspire him yes i mean technically <laughs> he inspires her but oh what i get the inspiration yes Okay. Um. Make note of that. Don't know why I decided to make him a frog, but okay. <laughs> uh, bardic inspiration of D8. I don't know. It's like a hybrid of a kobold and a frog. Right? What's going on with that thing coming out of his mouth? This is why AI art has problems. That and you know the unethical sourcing of source images. But besides that. <laughs> Okay, yeah. yeah. You have a bardic inspiration of a D8. Super. Yay, D8! Uh... Land here. He is... Uh... He is going to strike... Bjorn. Because annoying. And night. How dare he. Yes. Uh... You've hit that guy, right, David? Yes. I have indeed. Uh, do you know what his AC is roughly? It's higher than 12 and lower than 25. It's a very big range. Thank you. He hits you twice. Hooray. What a jerk. Uh -huh. I'm guessing he, he is not. 15. I'm not going to invite him to my birthday. <laughs> and I'm going to do the damage all at the same time because it's funner that way. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. 
Uh, okay. Just subtract 17, it'll work out. Boom. 27. Nine of, All right. nine of that is technically necrotic damage. Oh shit, so I feel like all tingly and shit now. Uh-huh. Uh... Yes. And as his bonus action for the turn, uh, he is going to uh, call forth another set of animals that are actually in the cave that he doesn't have to uh, summon. They're already here. Uh, and they are going to come into the turn order. No oh, jeez. What is your? Yeah, that's what I thought. Your initiative isn't all that great. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It is a swarm of bats. Hooray! Na 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 na. Oh shit! Na 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 na. That's where the shit came from. It is, yes. Yes. Okay. I didn't realize bat shit was white, but all right. I don't think it is. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Are they spore bats? They are spore bats. Here's a fun fact. In the strain novels, vampire excrement smells like bat shit. Well then. <sighs> Uh, silver, uh, Razza, go. Huh? Oh. Um. Right. So is Young kind of standing in the doorway? She is technically blocking the doorway, yes. And invisibility is invisible until attacker spell? Attacker spell, yes. So... Would I be able to attempt to sort of sidestep around her? Sure. Theoretically. Yeah. Sure. Um, so yeah, and as I am like sidestepping past her, I'll drop Silver Shield and keep going. Where do you drop it at? Behind Young. Okay. So, Are like, you running away? Um, I don't know. <laughs> You're running away, aren't you? Out of character. That is a very astute uh, observation. Oh. I really hope it didn't <laughs> pickpocket me. Didn't what? Didn't what? Didn't pickpocket me. Because no, I was standing right next to him. I pretty much grabbed some of your gear and retrieved it and deposited it right behind you. Yeah, but the thing is, you were right next to me and you could have done like a hidden roll. You could have. He could have, yeah. Still my trust I mean, you kind of dropped everything you had on the ground anyway, so. No, it's I had the freaking scarf and I put it in the bag of holding. Oh. Mm, who knows? Anyway. I don't know. Uh, who is dealing with a silver that's right there? That's annoying. It's she's not annoying yet. She's just staring him down like, yeah. Uh, Come on, try to shoot me. You got disadvantage. Or try to get away. I dare you. <coughs> uh. What would be a 30-foot cone from Autumn Sprite? You can draw it in. The features allow you to check what that would be. There's a cone. What kind of degree? 30-foot cone. 30 foot. The general direction of, like, yeah. Yeah! Could he, like, move... He, he Could he move it up and hit Oak, too? But also still hit Young? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, 
He could probably almost hit Bjorn. Uh, no. He, he's focused on those that are, like, right down here. Yo, uh, Silver, <laughs> make for me a wisdom. A wisdom save? Yes. Uh. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Doesn't Silver have a kind of aura thing that adds to it? Yes. That six is part of my aura thing. <laughs> oh. I have one in wisdom and five proficiency. Oh, come on, y'all. <laughs> come on. Okay. What, what, what are you hitting us with? Fear. Fear? Fear. Okay. Uh, so yes, you're now a feared. You cannot get closer to Autumn's right. I mean, that's fine. He's right there. First encounter assault recon. Huh? Fear. Yes, it takes concentration, I know. First encounter assault recon is a 2005 first person shooter psychological horror video game from. Oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about Fear. It's a 2005 a video game. Video game. <laughs> right. Okay. He starts playing a video game at us. So he is going to then make use of cunning action as rogue and step away and jump up here. As in disengaging? Cunning action dis disengage, yes. No, put his ass oh. back. Because, oh. because sentinel, dis uh, sentinel ca counters disengage. Creatures provoke opportunity attacks for me even if they disengage action before leaving my reach. Ooh, nice. You hit him. Yeah. That also oh, means he's not up here with me. Yes. You actually help him get up on the platform. He's just prone. <laughs> That'd be stupid. Yes, it would. Wow. Okay. Okay. Young. Uh, so Young is currently a feared. Uh, so she can't get closer to him. She can't. She's however. probably aware of the the shield being dropped near her. Yes. So she is going to. Uh, Pick up the shield and step in to the area slightly. Not getting closer to him. And, uh. No, I guess she's just got Silver's shield. She's not gonna. She could throw it, but the odds are that y'all, Silver, wouldn't be able to catch her. Yeah, no. So, Skunk, go. She can't okay. get closer because of fear, right? Yeah, she can't get closer to him because of fear. So All she right, randomly so. turns around and walks up the wall, does a kick flip, and lands right beside Silver, handing her the thing while still running with momentum away. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a right way around it. I'm gonna do a kick flip. Anyway, uh... <laughs> no. so, uh so... Skunk, I actually, believe... Actually, uh, wait a minute. Uh, I know precisely what Yong is going to do. Uh, Wait, she. Hold on, let me double check a thing. Uh, she should have it. Yes. Peace of mind, oh. stupid thing. Silver snaps her fingers, and the shield like leaps out of her hands directly onto her is, arm. Is this? <laughs> Turn it into Captain America's shield and just start yes. throwing shit. Does it contain? <laughs> Ricochet off of people in the darkness. No, just hit a wall and start hitting all the enemies. Yes. Okay. So Pinball machine. So it doesn't take her key points, but it does take her action. Uh, Yong is going to know. make use of her action, and she is going to use stillness of mind to get the fear effect off of herself. And she's going to come over here to Silver and use her bonus action to hand her a shield. Yay! My AC goes from 13 to 15. Nice. Woo. Now it's Skunk. Alright, so I believe I saw Bjorn getting thumped a minute ago. Yes, you did. But, uh, All right, so, so, oh, and uh, now that there's no allies, I forgot to attack with the bear is landing. So, boop. Ah! Oh no! My turn keeps getting interrupted. No, Sorry. Skip it. Skip it. Just let him. Let's go. Uh, no, the bear is part God. of the turn order. He's got to do his thing. No. Hmm. Can opening bear. 
Okay, so you do take one day. You do take one of the hits, but not the other one. Oops. Eleven. Eleven damage to Bjorn. Now it's come. Sorry. Okay. I would like to shoot Mushroom Beard. Sure. And I'm going to employ Sharpshooter. Okay. Ew. So this is so there's going to be a negative five penalty to this, but it is a, an attack with advantage regardless of any other factors because Bjorn's fighting the guy, and I have a pretty good uh, to hit anyway. So, so subtract five from that. Twenty-four. Or that. So, does twenty-four hit? Yes. All right. So that's twenty-two, and then another twenty-seven on top of that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Murder machine. Tiny murder machine, get it right? My apologies. <laughs> Did your roll already add the plus 10 to damage? No, no. Reaper. So it's actually 49. 49, I believe, yeah. Uh, How fucked is he from that? <laughs> ow. Uh, he unfortunately cannot do his reaction to you, who just hit him. But he can do a reaction to just getting hit. Ow. Hey, uh, Bjorn, make a constitution save. Oh, no. What's his... Why Bjorn? <laughs> constitution save. Isn't massive damage threshold a thing in 5th? Not in 5th. Oh. What's massive damage threshold? So, hey. let's say that dude is tanky and has, like, 200 health. If you do more than, let's say, 50, uh, it basically crumples him, even though it's not enough to blot out his hit points. If it's over no. a certain amount, it doesn't matter. It's catastrophic. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, so so David got a nat 20. Yes, he did. Which yeah, means he right. In the middle of the darkness, we start seeing all these rainbow colors and do 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 and he's like superstar. No. Hell yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, but you didn't take any of the damage because it was a reaction con save for 1d8. We'll uh, take it. So, uh, Skunk, continue with your turn. All right, so I finish off that shot. I give Shroombeard the finger. Not that I think he can really see me from this far away when I'm so tiny. And then I will use my movement to park my ass back here, and I will bonus action hide to end my turn. Yep. 25, my minimum. Rogues, man. Uh, yep. All right, silver. It feels so good to be yeah. playing skunk in combat again. This is why I like him. <laughs> so luckily, warding bot is not a concentration spell. So she's going to cast branding smite level five as a bonus action. But as her action, she's going to activate her radiant consumption. Uh -huh. So that ends her turn. Um, she takes three, and everyone else takes seven. And that's within how many feet? Within 10 feet. So within your aura. Basically my aura. Yeah. So Yong and that guy takes seven. I think I take half of her damage because of Warding Bond too. Yes. I'll take another three. Um, all right. And that's your turn? <clears throat> yeah, that'll be it. Uh, yes, he takes seven. He takes seven radiant damage. And there's no, nothing for half unless he's actually resistant to Radiant. Which he is not. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Bat scissors. Uh, Ominous. Uh, 30. Can they get all the way over here? Yeah. Bat's gonna go flying across the top of the cave and end up over here. Yeah. Bjorn. Would you believe that I intend to whack this man with my sword? Yes. No. Right. No. 18? Uh, 18 will hit. Yep. Okay, so his AC is less than 18, higher than 13, 12. Yes. I'm, I'm still go saying 15. That does seem like a reasonable amount, doesn't it? If I smite on top of that, another 11. So that brings it up to 20 for that one. And then we will give him the old round two. That'll be a hit for sure. 
and once more with the Divine Smite, just to make sure he feels it as much as possible. Oak. Uh, so, Oak is going to see this spore bear here, apparently. Uh, and he is going to make use of a spiritual weapon thing and attack bear. Yep. Bad bear. No. Uh huh. Go back to your guarding. Woo. Alright. Uh. Okay. And. Lay here. He is, uh. Going to, uh, attack a Bjorn. But this time, he's going to get all showboaty with his sword. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Uh. Remind me what type of sword he's using again? Uh, he has a long sword. Nice, alright. A long sword for yes. a tiny person. Yes. So wouldn't that technically be a sword sword? No. Short sword. Uh, sword. 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 Jeez. So, he needs to make an attack roll. <coughs> and, yes. 17 hit Bjorn. No, not quite. Oh, he has Yay. to. He has to attack. So, that's a, okay. <laughs> no. Alrighty, Bazo. Funny Buck says he's still gonna run off the map. Probably. That does seem to be the angle, huh? I really want to make like an investigation to see if I have my bag. I mean, you could, but. Technically, well, the th thing is, I didn't know he was there, so yeah. I can't. To be fair, though, uh, it is an action against another character. I would totally say that you know, you can't. Well, that's the thing, it would be against my passive wisdom if he tried pickpocketing me. Yeah, and I only have done 11. Are you back, Kenneth? I heard him there for a second. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, he is going to attempt to run away again. Of course. Fought it. By that I mean Autumn Sprite is going to run away. Oh, did you just skip for his turn? For the, for the moment. Okay. Just so that I can keep yeah, going. Yeah, sure, he can, he, he can try running away. Yes, he's going to. Cutting action, disengage, and run away. Uh, no. I... 16 says AC. So do I make it? Yes. Yay, and the branding spike goes off. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's see, and I cast a little 5, so that'll be 5v6. And she'll do a little 4 branding spike. So, uh, first damage done. And this, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. D6. <coughs> That's for a branding smite. Also, he's kind of glowing, so he can't be invisible, ever. <laughs> and then, with my Divine Smite, at level 4, new. Uh, 24, 40, 60 damage? Ow. Uh, Let me guess, he takes half of that? Uh, yes. Jeez. Actually, no. He can't. Because, uh, well, yeah, he could because he would have gotten his reaction back from that. Yeah, because it's his turn. Yeah. And then for his action, since attacking you with a crossbow is not useful and he doesn't want to break out his dagger yet at the moment, uh, he, he, he would have to swap to his dagger and he used his bonus action to try to run again. So, uh, mm -hmm. his actual action action he is going to make use of uh the handy feature he's got from a ranger class because he's technically ranger rogue that's how he's got okay. the spells uh and he is going to do uh, uh did i miss anything no well, it's your turn. What was uh, Razo going to do on his turn? Continue to run away? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Called it. Where's my 20 bucks? 
Dave. Bjorn will slide you a gold piece. All right. Two gold pieces, sir. Okay, cool. Mm. So, he Take makes you... Behind an NPC. So, what so the what's heck? the 10th damage for? It's not damage. Uh, he gets 10 temporary HP. Hooray! From what? Tireless on a ranger. Oh, okay. Young. She does not fear from him anymore. Hooray. So she's going to come up here. She's going to whack a halfling. Oh. Whackling. Yes. Stun him. Give me advantage. Uh, Rar. 27 will hit. 11 misses. Flurry. Rar. 26 will hit. 28 will crit. That's good. So, that is a total of 12. Uh, and then, that one goes off. Yes. I will get the dog in a minute. 16. And then, the crit. Kaboom. Oh, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, thirty-three. He already, he already used his reaction with me. He did, yes. Uh, and then he has to make a con save, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> crit. But that's fine. She hit him twice. Now he's stunned. Yes. Y'all. Who's attacking you? So. Yong Goat runs up to him, punches him a few times, crits on him once, and just like, stay down, Bob. Wait, that's his wisdom save? That's con. Stun's constitution. Oh, it is con. Never mind. Yes, stun's constitution. I can't math. Okay, and bats are coming for me. Yep. Do the bats know I am there? Yes, the bats know where you are. Feck. All right, well. How? <laughs> Blind sense. Yeah. Because echolocation, because bats. Isn't that within a certain number of feet? It is. Well, regard, you know well regardless. Him. So Skunk is going to park himself right there using 20 feet of his movement. Oh, uh, Skunk has keen senses or whatever because he's a cobalt. I have a really good sense of smell, but I don't have the uh, keen okay, senses trait. I just ro- I just role play my really high perception stat I've specced into as having a good sense of smell. I have dark vision. Anyway, continue. Uh, I am going to since Tiny Thumberfuck over there is currently being occupied by the two uh, v- nice ladies. <laughs> uh, I am g- what? <laughs> nice ladies. I, I thought you were laughing at Tiny Thumberthuck, but all right. Oh, no. No, just Thumberthuck. nice ladies. Silver doesn't look <laughs> nice right now. Ooh, scary. Uh, hmm. Remind me, if a summoner dies, does their conjured creature die with them? Technically, yes. Then I am going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open fire, open fire on uh, a senior L Shroombeard over there. I'm going to pull yeah, a sharpshooter yeah. again. Yep. So... <laughs> okay, well, that's a nat 20. <laughs> so. Get fucked. So just, add just, 10. Just, just. That's, that's 26. And then is sneak attack dice doubled as well? Yes. Yes. 52 Ooh. on top of that. <laughs> so 26 plus 52. Plus 10, right? I already, I have already accounted for that. Uh, 13 plus 3. Plus 10, plus 52, equals 78. <laughs> Is he dead? Not quite. Please, carry of the small. <laughs> you said how much total? Oh, this total is 78. Okay. <laughs> He's turning into a porcupine. I only, I've only shot him twice. I know. Rogues, man. Rogues, man. Hey, All you're right. hitting you're arteries. That's what save. you're doing. Oh, is it a thing where each time he hits? Yep. Uh, so Bjorn save. needs to make a con save. Yeah. Do the thing, David. Roll well. Don't die because I kick ass. Hmm. Let's see. You can I do can it. Do. Yeah. 15? Uh. Jeez. Hmm. No. No? Huh? 15 is not enough. 
Not correct. Oh no. Oh. Oh. And maybe it's 17. Two. Two damage? Yes. Ow. Silver. Okay. He's 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 a he's a stun. He and a stunned. sparkly boy. Da, 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 da. My god advantage. Twenty-six. Yep. Uh I will do level four smite. Level yeah, level four smite on top of that. That's good damage. Okay, stack and attack. Mm. Yep. <laughs> huh? Oh, did I just click on the... Oh, I wasn't actually done moving Skunk yet. Oh, whoops. There was one other thing I wanted to do, if I may do that real quick. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I had 10 feet of movement left. I was going to park myself right there. And then bonus action. I believe Misty Step is a bonus action, yes? Yep. Yes, I was then going to Misty Step. That's 30 feet. And just uh, disappear up here. That's a crit. Very nice. Oh, damn. oh. But now you all see why he is called the tiny murder machine. <laughs> yes. And do uh, my last level four smite. Oh, I'm gonna have to roll these dice twice. Now. Yes. So let me roll it one more time. How much is that total? Calculator. Yeah. Calculator, my friend. Uh, 16 plus. 16 plus. Thank you. Plus 14. Plus. Oh, also, I will do my radiant consumption thingy, my Bob. Where yep. uh, he does an additional 14 <laughs> radiant damage. It's that. And then, end of turn, he takes another 7. So in total, he takes 81 damage. Yeah. I um, take okay. six, taking half of Yong's damage from the Radiant. Yep. And that'll be her turn. Uh. Is he a shish, shish kebab? Yes, he is. Uh. Kaput. Good. Bats. Went all the way the <laughs> heck over there. Yeah, it's playing keep away. Uh, so my bat says thirty. Yes. I can be a terrible person. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a thing that is here proclaimed quietly over chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> like a oh, well, I, I could. Are you going to? Possibly. <laughs> That's the thing. She can heal him and just punch his lights out over and over again. <laughs> I wouldn't. She's angry. In uh, case of reaction actions. Well, it's kind of hard when it's like, well, is there an action to lay on hands? Yeah, 15 it is. hit skunk. That is a 15 hit skunk. Uh, a 15? Nine. My armor class is 17. Okay. <laughs> Bjorn. Yeah. Whack. Uh-huh. That's really cool. I feel like this guy's got to be close by now. 17. 17 will hit. Ah. Divine Smite, now at level okay. 2. It's 21. It's 21 damage from that. Then a second round of yield wacky doodle. Is not needed. He's gone. Oh, shit. I don't suppose that 13 is good for hitting the bear. No, but it's also not needed. Bye bye, bear. Fuck you, bear. Well,. What I'll use the, the 13 the to stab his corpse in order to make sure. Yes. Uh, I guess there's bats up there after skunk. So. Residence. Oak no longer has fear to deal with. He misses his little staff from spirit, spirit weapon thing. He's going to move to be up here somewhere. 
Landier is dead. And so is uh, Autumn's right. Okay. Well, they were not near as... fight the bats and save. They were not near as uh, terrifying as they implied that they were. The no. is going to uh, turn up this way. And... Gonna jump and kick flip her way into punching some bats. <laughs> I want to do a kick flip. <laughs> she missed with a twelve. Oh. Eighteen hits though. <laughs> Have y'all seen Doug Doug's D and D uh, video? Actually, she hits with a twelve because it's bats and they're not very much very terrifying. Uh, uh. six. Okay, so. Skunk, you were uh, being weighed upon, waylaid upon by some bats, and they were screeching in your face and being annoying. And then all of a sudden, Yong just kick flips her way up and <coughs> bye bye bats. I give her a thumbs up. You are hidden, but yeah, I'm not. I did not hide. True. I use my bonus action to teleport. Right there, you go. So now there are no enemies on the board, right? <laughs> we are right. Silver's kicking Autumn Sprite. Mm -hmm. Is any of Silver's gear still hanging out on the ground? Yeah, probably my armor. Armor's in the middle. He's like right there or something. <laughs> Skunk will go get it. <coughs> hey. Okay. Huh? And oh, Silver's oh. just kick kicking a guy while he's down. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. She's just angry. <laughs> She's kicking him. Okay, uh, Skunk is going to start bringing the armor over. See this happening. Look at the armor. Look at the violence. Look at the armor. Look at the prisoner abuse. Shrug. <laughs> dead. Dro drop the armor. Oh, he's dead? I oh. thought he was unconscious. No, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> and she's uh, kicking him to make sure he's dead. Uh, you want your clothes back? And I'll hold the armor up. <laughs> It's armor, but yes, I would appreciate my armor back. Yep. Kick. Hey, if I can't eat dead people, you can't kick dead people. It's rude. Uh, he pissed me off. I gave him the chance to live. I mean, yeah, but I still can't eat him. Yeah. So just sort of puts her armor on. So why did you do that anyway? What? Go along with that frankly absurd demand of his. I mean, I don't. I haven't known you guys very long. It's kind of why I held back for so long before getting involved with uh, you know when things started turning into a fight. But most other people I've traveled with to date wouldn't have gone along with something like that. They wouldn't have let themselves basically get robbed blind. Well, it's. Did you happen to overhear the conversation that? He and I have, where he said, like, two-thirds of Mork are criminals. Yeah, I was listening. Like, I was tucked well, away in the shadows, still but that, I was watching the whole time. Well, there's still that one-third of people that are innocent, having normal lives. Mm -hmm. And their lives are at risk. So, mm -hmm. these are just items. Mm -hmm. And it's just, if trading items to save at least a third of Mark, then so be it. Fair enough, I suppose. You guys got to search? Hmm? Are you going to search? Oh, him? go and search? Yeah. So we'll give the help action to anyone who with a high investigation. That would not be me. My investigation is six. <laughs> oh, fine. So we'll do it. Can I get help? I'll help. I okay. got a nose. <laughs> Give me something good. No. Ah! Yeah. No. Nope. Imagine the skunk just like up here with his nose, like neck, shoulders deep in the pile, and you just hear, "Say, hey, what are you looking for again?" Uh, there was a, I think, a chest over there that I saw. Okay, are we looking for the chest, or what's in the chest, or what? Uh, I'm assuming there's something in the chest. So if you find a chest, do I find a chest? Nope. I am not seeing a chest. I'm seeing a rotten apple, though. Where's Razo? <laughs> what? Where's Razo? Uh, Silver looks for the bag of holding. You still have the bag of holding. She'll pull out the scarf. 
Yep. A scarf is still there? Yep. I'm gonna kill him. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> well, what do you do? As you can see, we have a missing person here. Uh-huh. And, well, supposedly, since I have a scarf, there is money somewhere. If it's not in the cave, most likely he took it. So, I guess look around and see if we can find any large amounts of money. The one room I haven't been in yet. Young, do you still have the weatherstone? Yes. I hope he freezes. Anything up here in this corner? Row investigation. Oh, goody, because that's what I'm good at. Hey, apparent. Why do you have a you have a plus six? It's not. It's not great. <laughs> better than well, still, it was better than my one. <laughs> I suppose. I just... I... What do I find? Uh. Up here, there is a little area of water from up here, and nothing of super important. Is a room. Yep. With dysentery water. And Silver's gonna climb up and look. Anything out here? You see a chest right there. She she goes and checks the chest. Is it trapped? Uh, investigation seems fine. She opens it. Dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> the death of a paladin. Sorcerer, whatever the fuck you are. Puppy glass. That's a 23. Yeah. So uh, the chest was, in fact, trapped. I figured. And a crossbow belt goes off and Rose runs right past her head. <laughs> and inside the chest is uh, a smallish supply of gold and other useful items. How much gold and such? Uh, let me double check here. It will come. Oh, someone want to go get our guest and let her know it's all clear? Yeah, somebody might do, need to do that. Oak is going to head out. Skunk is going to head outside too, but he's doing so so we can see if we can pick up Razo's scent and see where he went. Okay. What would this be? Perception or nature? Survival. Survival. Because you're trying to track 21. Uh, he seems to have went mostly south. And we're in a snowy environment, so there would have been tracks, right? Yes. Mm. <laughs> what? What fun? What funny? I got... I have haste, and I still have spell slots to cast haste. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. I really dislike that he took the gold. He probably doomed the town. <laughs> I mean, then we gotta chase him, don't we? Yeah, so how much gold is in the chest? <laughs> and yes. Uh, other useful things. There are uh, roughly a thousand gold worth of items and or actual gold. A lot of which is gems. Uh, well, how much is it actually gold and gems? Would you say? Probably... I'd say 500 in actual gold, and the other 500 is in items, gems. Well, is it items that I can stuff into the little ender pouch? Slowly and surely, yeah. Yeah, she's going to do that. Okay. So, 1,000 gold in ender pouch. Okay. Okie dokie. So, where do we go from here? I guess we just track the guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oak? Yeah. Can you tell Aza that Razo is running away with the gold and coins? Yeah. I don't think she's going to like that very much, but yeah. I know. I know. He left tracks. He left a smell. Went that away. Can we go after him? I am all down for going after him. Oh, well, yeah. Let's go after him. He's dead. No. Okie dokie. Skunk is going to do the skunky thing. Pop a spell slot, his last second level spell slot, to be flying. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Did I, did I ride Rupert here? You can, yes. You didn't I ride him here, though. But you can summon him. I would like to ride him in pursuit. Uh, can I say I have the steed? Well, no, because we have that one 
girl. Uh, so she is going to sit. Silver's going to go up to Skunk, and she's going to pat his head before he flies and cast haste. Ooh. Plus two to AC, advantage on dexterity saving thrones, and it gains an additional action along with your movement. Shit. Sweet. All right, pop that in chat, and away I go. Goodbye. All right, the skunk is um, skyward as only a Manderville can in hunt of uh, Razo. Okay. Yeah, so you get to move. Bird's eye view. 180 feet flying. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you head out. Yep. You're following the tracks. And I'm doing so at really high speed because fly and haste. Yes. Um, you want to uh, follow the speck in the sky. <laughs> Roll perception for me. It's not going to be hard because you have a great, crazy perception. Indeed. 27. Yep. So you're flying. You're up high. You're going super fast. You're following the tracks in the snow. And then the traps in the snow stop. Now, for fuck's sake. They seem to be going southward towards towards the Mork, and then they stop. I'm gonna fly down and examine where the tracks stopped. Yep. They just continue to go forward, and then they don't go forward anymore. They just stop. I'm going to attempt to do a flying karate kick through this space where the uh, f- footprints stop. Okay. Do I hit anything, or does it just disappear? I mean, you could roll an attack roll if you want. <laughs> Do it. I mean, this is a kick, so would that just be my, just a base strength roll? Because I'm not proficient in hand to hand. I mean, it would be yeah. It'd yeah, be it would be strength. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, nothing there. Uh, mm, uh, Thirty feet within. I will fly up and look for any signs of teleportation or fancy jumping or dust off or anything like that. How would you look for magic y things? You're not well, you are a magic y rogue, I guess. Yeah, to an extent. I have Misty Step. Like I would know that like uh I imagine it would logically make sense. I'm not stupid. I have an eighteen intelligence. Something not being somewhere and then suddenly appearing there would create like a displacement of air and uh that sudden sharp displacement would probably at least create a small indentation in the snow that doesn't align with the snow around it. Yeah, and just moving like thirty feet out and stuff, checking in any direction, every direction, to see if there's reappearance of tracks. Yeah, yeah, not that you can see. Mm-hmm. Although I look up, although there is, I, I will say that there is a displacement of magic use where the tracks stop. If you're looking for that particular, uh, but as far as like thirty feet around it, no, no reappearance of tracks. Well, it's probably dimension door, but that's five hundred feet. Shaka 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 shaka. So, uh, so, in asking Oak to talk to Aza, uh, oh, and say that we we have the scarf, but he Razo ran away with the money. Okay, well, uh, I mentioned to Aza that Razo ran off with the money, but you have the scarf, uh, and. Aza has said to uh, basically uh, meet up in Mork. She was already going to send her collector that way. Uh, and she not send the collector that way? Because everyone's terrified of the collector, but eh, whatever. Fine, let's get going. It's going to be a couple of days travel. Yep. And you guys are going to slowly make your way southward. Next day, Silver's going to use the scrying orb to scry on Razo. Okay. So he needs to roll a wisdom save. Are we just are we just skipping ahead today? Uh, unless you mm-hmm. had Skunk wanting to do anything specific. I mean, he was away from the group at the end of the tracks. Pretty much the only thing Everybody I had like in him. mind. Pretty much the only thing I had in mind for him is that I'd have him start making Icarus noises when he realized he couldn't find out where Razo went. It, what? Calling out to the uh, group. Uh, I guess eventually we'll show up. Eventually we'll show up. There you all are. Yes. Hi, Buck Speedy. How are you? Uh, so Razo disappeared. He's dead. 
I'm going no, to. No, uh, his tracks come here. And he look, 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 the snow sort of like uh, pressed in. So he went poof and I flew up and looked around. But uh, there, there wasn't anywhere nearby where he reappeared. So if he teleported, he teleported farther than I had time to go. I didn't want to go shooting too far ahead and get totally separated from you from you guys. That would just be counterproductive. What good is a scout if the scout can't come back to the group, right? All right. Well, thank you for the so, help. Did my best. No idea where he went, and I'm kind of offended, honestly. Yep, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to hunt him down, and I'm going to kill him. <laughs> All right. So you use... Uh... In, in the next day, you used to scrying eye on uh, Razo? Yes. Yeah. Uh, wisdom save 27. Nope. Wait, hold on. I gotta look at something. <laughs> scrying. Ah, da 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 da. Papaya. Pa -pa -paya, pa -paya. You are. He still makes it. <laughs> yep. Fine, she's gonna keep doing it along the journey. <laughs> Anybody got anything else they're going to talk about or anything on the journey? Eh, the skunk is happy to humor anyone who comes to talk to him, but he doesn't have anything to add right now. How's the girl holding up? Is she doing okay? Uh, she is fine. Okay. Actually, you know what? That's a thing. Skunk does actually have something he wants to do. Uh, what was the girl's name again? Shauna? Shauna, yep. Shauna, twitchy, still kind of scared, stuff like that? Yep. Okay, next time we stop to camp, Skunk is going to attempt to do some additional hunting. Okay. Like for like a snow rabbit or something. Okay, survival. 16. Sure. All right. That little bit of extra meat, he's going to uh, have that cooked, and then he's going to bring pretty much the whole thing over to Shauna. Here you yeah. go. Uh... I mean, we have rations, but okay. Yeah, but you're the scared one, and I always find a nice, warm, cooked batch of meat makes me always feel nice, warm, and fuzzy, and better. So here you go. Sure. Uh, acrobatics to get across the river. <laughs> yeah, right. I was expecting a little more enthusiasm, but I... Athletics. <laughs> Athletic or acrobatics, yeah. You have to succeed 17 <laughs> times in a row or you fall down the river. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> We're not doing that again. Oh. We spent an entire session on that. Never again. <laughs> okay. I think we all got it across. Uh, oh, the girl. She has some issues. Oh, no. But everybody, everybody rolled higher than a 15 and you got at least two 20s in there. So. Okay. Mm. We Roll another wisdom save. <laughs> yep. Twenty-five. Right. Uh, scrying has the minus stuff if I know the target and. What is the DC of it? Well, my DC is. Is it based off my spell save DC? It would be yes. Is eighteen, but since I know the target, I'm familiar with the target gets a minus five to that but there's also a connection i don't know which how that'll work uh so your spell save dc is uh what's your spell save dc 18 okay yeah so you does know, he still pass it, it's still high enough because he rolled at least a 25 uh, okay you're doing it every day along the trip oh yeah she's doing it every single day so okay. maybe one more time or something? Two more times. Or, uh, yeah, one more time. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that brings it down to 17, doesn't it? Uh, yes. Ha! -ha! <laughs> I beat it by one. Okay. So you're what do I see? <laughs> you're doing your sky guy on Razo. Yes, what do I see? <laughs> Razo is currently in Mork, and he is uh, appears to be waiting. Like, can I tell where he's waiting? In that bar that's his favorite bar. Okay. Alrighty. So at least... 
Uh, by the last day, you do make it to where you can figure out that he's in work. Yeah. It's going to fucking, fucking, fucking kill him. Uh huh. Hmm. Alrighty. Anything to be discussed, or you're just going into Mork? They were so saying she's just stomping into Mork. <laughs> oh boy, time to raise hell. <clears throat> yeah, Seems so that way. <laughs> uh, real quick, just a quick out of character thing to remind me. Uh, when all of this with Mork is done, isn't it still the plan to go looking for Cad? Yes. See what's going on with him? Yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure I had that straight in my head because part of me is wondering how is how are Skunk and Cad going to get along? Right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> That's going to be fun. And the thing is, do we want to go to the capital? Because I know Silver wants to do something at the capital, you and could. also look for hot springs. <laughs> <laughs> you could go to the ca- drop off Shauna. Go to the hot. Go to the capital. Look for hot springs. Look for Cad. <laughs> the chaos. Yes. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, Silver's making our way to the bar. Okay. So, you will... So, uh, are we playing this any particular way, or are we just gonna go in and, uh, break kneecaps? I'm going to kill him. That's how I'm going to play it. <coughs> okay. Um. <sighs> Silver, we ain't gonna figure out what he's got going on if you just outright kill him. I don't care. He took the money. D- he took the money and he left us. He did nothing in the fight. At least I don't think he did. Oh, just let Roz- uh, and Oza know we're in Mark. <laughs> yes. And there might be a scorched Frazo. <laughs> okay. So. Kind of makes me wish I'd invested in having Skunk learn the, the scorching ray spell. Yeah. I could flavor it as it coming out of his mouth. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> Yes, it would. If I ever pick that up for him with the knives, I'll absolutely do it like that. Hiya, breather. Yeah. So are you just going to charge in and go swinging? I was just going to walk in and spot Razo. Yep. He's sitting at a table? Yep. And she's going to walk over to it. Ah. What the fuck, man? What? No. Don't give me that shit. <laughs> Where's the money, Razo? Where's just... the money, Lebowski? <laughs> <laughs> it took a second for that one to register. <laughs> that was good. That was solid, Brian. <laughs> Wait, tell me where it's at, dickhead! <laughs> because I've never even seen that movie. <laughs> me, but I know the reference. Where's the money, Razo? Ozzo wants her money. Uh. I assume we picked it up, didn't we? Well, I saw a chest that was in the pile. And then when we went to go look, there was no chest. And somehow you just disappeared. So I'm assuming you took it. So unless you say otherwise, or prove otherwise, which I'll let you know, I'm not going to believe you. (sighs) You stole the money. So where's the money? So Razo gets a... Like, visible look of frustration on his face. Aggravated. Also, he got a new voice, apparently. <laughs> the voice actor changed mid-season. That's not going to throw anyone apparently. off. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, <sighs> fine. I mean, I have enough money to pay her off if she shows up with her collector. Damn it. I am one of her collectors. So where's the money? So you're working for her now, is that how this works? Oh, I was working for her from the start, Razo. It just so happened that you sent me a message, was like, Huh, okay, I'll play at that angle. Why'd you run? Because he's a coward. Uh... No witty response? Give me a second. The DM has to come up with a witty response. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Razo's response is biting the DMs not so much <laughs> wild 12 uh, scene okay the fuck Wait, what are you what? look I have enough money to pay for the dragon that's fine I ran away because well I didn't have any idea what was going on down there you guys did your thing. You got the stuff, so... No, we got half the stuff. 
<laughs> I sniff Raza. Does he smell the same? Roll, uh... Well, he should perception. be, since I just scried on him. Perception. 31, not 20. <laughs> Very nice. Um, so, uh, when you were sniffing and carrying on with Razo, and you sort of got that sent down for what Razo was, uh, there was always this little nuance of a smell that was different, that didn't quite match this uh, kind of uh, muskiness for a bit that was a little different. This guy doesn't have that. <laughs> so oh. he smells slightly different in the form of he smells more Razo, technically. <laughs> I don't think this is him. Oh, because I scried, and he's sitting in the same spot. Yes, but did you scry on him before? At any point when he was traveling with us? No, because he was right at us. He smells wrong. I take offense to that, but okay. No, I don't mean you smell bad. I mean, you don't smell like the guy that was traveling with us. There was something off. What's going on here, Shorts? Five... We risk... We risked our lives for your neck. You owe us an explanation. Got about five minutes <laughs> before. Smart skunk. Thank you. I'm very happy I caught that. Yeah. The fact the fact that suddenly you went from being a player to a DM character kind of tipped me off, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Just five minutes before I lose my shit. Look. Where's the money? I've already told you. I have enough for the dragon. Dragon's gonna get paid. I understand. Where's it at? Bring it here. Okay, fine. I'll go get it. And answer my question. That too. I guess I was right about him being a coward. Just, if you were working with Azza, tell her to hold off with her collector and she can get her stuff. <laughs> no, no. See, I can't tell a dragon to stop. It's a dragon. So, like I said, you got about five minutes to get that money and bring it here to me. All right. So, Razo will go behind the, like, innkeeper tavern behind the bar. Skunk, follow him. On it. I am trailing behind, and I'm a do so sneaky, like, complete with the invisibility spell that I will now cast. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So that would mean, like, advantage on this. Not like it matters. That's a natural 20. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Skunk folds into the off. darkness. <laughs> what god did you have to bribe for this? Uh, the dice gods. But I don't think I bribed them. I just impressed them. So I just... I got blessed with good numbers at an OP class. They, they like skunk. They do like skunk. He's a lucky boy. Yes. <laughs> Hmm. I'm so glad I caught that. Yep. I, I feel really clever. Now, it's going to be pissed if it turns out it was burned. I was with us the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would explain one or two things. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe I just stabbed him to see if he bleed black. <laughs> Maybe that's why he scarpered so quick. It's like, if I take any damage here, they're gonna know. <laughs> Just get the shit and run! <laughs> I am loving playing Skunk so goddamn much. <laughs> skunk is stealthing and invisible and all that other fun stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have disappeared into the dark. And is Pebble still around? And you are following Razo. Yes. Uh, so, Razo will go to the back of the, uh, uh, back behind the bar, and he'll go out the tavern in the back door, and he will make his way to, uh, what appears to be some form of, uh, uh, like, slightly underground, and basically a vault of sorts, and... Uh, Ooh, study how he gets in. He will 
Sort I'm taking of, note of everything, don't you worry. <laughs> sort of look around for a minute, and then you will see, as he goes into this vault of his, uh, that there is a really fancy-looking uh, number-based uh, combination lock. Really cool and fancy looking. And Razo, sort of as he walks, he will wave his hand, and this combination lock opens for him before he even gets there. Mage hand. <laughs> and That's offensive. He will then walk into it, and uh, Skunk will be able to follow because yep. Stealth of 35. Because Stealth, yes. Uh, and inside, he will see. Uh huh. Uh, he will see a vault with a ton of gold coins. Basically a, a treasury of sorts. Alright. Like completely full? Uh, maybe not completely full, but it is pretty full. Is it more than the size of the chest? <laughs> and uh, he will uh, find a chest that's among the stuff, and he will put the gold in, and... He has a third hand that it visibly is helping him move the gold in. I look around the room. Is there anything else interesting while he's scooping moundfuls of gold into the chest? Uh, nothing that immediately gets your attention. It's just a vault full of a bunch of gold. Hmm. You can roll perception if you want. I would want, yes. 21. Yeah, just a vault full of gold. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so you will look through that. Just a vault full of gold, and he will eventually have scooped in all the gold that he can, close up the chest, lock it, and then make his way out. I'm following right at his heels. Yep. And he will leave. He's carrying the chest as he walks out the door. The door then combination lock spins and locks itself back behind him. Fancy. My objective now shifts from stock to make sure he keeps his word to stock to make sure no one jumps him. That's a very good point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I already intercepted like three different pickpocketing attempts in this town. Skunk knows what's up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just going to quietly have his short sword out and ready to go in case he needs it. Uh, You will see, because of your high perception, uh, you will see that there are a few of the town that look and make eyes as if they're about to try to pickpocket him, but then stop and don't. It's as if they think better of it. Uh, huh. Mm. So, interesting. you will make your way in, or he will, he will make his way back into the tavern, and because he is a halfling in short, he will kathunk the chest full of gold on top of the countertop and make his way back around. There. See? You can count it if you want. All the gold that she wants is in there. Sure. With silver silver ash. will go over to the chest and just like opens it to look at it. Kind of like. So, ju- so just for clarity for my own mental eye, this is basically like a chest of holding, right? I mean, it's not a chest of holding, it's a chest of gold. <laughs> I, I thought it was like bigger on the inside to hold the amount of gold required. Um, he didn't put everything from the vault in it. No. Mm. He just put what was required for the dragon. Okay. There's. Does the chest look like the same size that I saw back in the cave? Uh, same size, yes, but not the same design. It's not the same chest, but it's about the same size. Yeah, and then if I recall right, I didn't see the chest being any magic. Or... Nope. Okay. Silver, like, opened the chest and kind of, like, puts her hand through the gold just to make sure it's all real. Yep. Roll initiative. Wait, no. <laughs> it's a mimic. It's a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny, wouldn't it? Ah, my head! No! Why'd you bite off my hand? <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Still got one good hand. I didn't ask the chest motivations. I said I cast Fireball. Uh-huh. <laughs> Saw it breathing Fireball. Yes. <laughs> so it lives, it dies. So just yes, skip the act. Have, Let's just skip gold. the middle part. Just cut to the end. <laughs> you have gold. You have chest. 
Everything groovy. And now we just wait for Raza and her collector to get here, and I'll ask Raza whether or not she wants me to kill you or not. And Silver would, like, sit there and smile at him. Um, okay. Great. Skunk's going to fold back into existence now, like, right next to Razo. Yeah. <laughs> Neat trick. Still haven't answered my still haven't answered my question. What question was that? What was going on with the guy who was in the cave with us? Because I am confident that was not you, and I'm like poking him on the chest as I'm saying that. Is it enough with the, the pokes? Personal space, dude. No. Nope. Come on. <laughs> no. Nope. Who has like? He might tell you then. He might jog his memory. I mean, you say I don't smell I just like it. who you were <laughs> hanging out with. I just open. I just open my mouth really wide and breathe on his face. And because I eat only meat, it stinks. <laughs> I imagine that Skunk's breath smells like the meat bins at Walmart used to smell before they got rid of those. <laughs> just ugh, like death itself. Decay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, pretty okay. much. <sighs> uh, did also say how long it's going to take her to get here? Not very long. I mean, and no, she didn't say that she was coming. She's sending her collector, though. <sighs> anyway. No, no, we need to go see her. <laughs> so, uh, Razo is. Who am I supposed to smell like? You say that you traveled with me, and he's a very no different now. Yeah, hey. you do. And how now, here's the thing: I got a very, very good nose, and I like tap it. It's kind of my whole thing. How am I supposed? To, and how am I supposed to react to this kind of interrogation? Back off! Come on. You <laughs> answer the question. That's how you get. Look, plain and simple. Was reward. that someone else who was shapeshifted to look like you? And a very good one because we didn't notice at night. All right, so is it about this time? Is it about the what? Is it about this time that, uh, that, yeah. uh, sorry, this, this cold <laughs> and things is aggravating. Brain go, uh -huh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, so. What does arrive? Yes. At about this time, the front door to the tavern will swing open, and a gnome will basically call out to everybody in the tavern and be like, he, he looks terrified, and he's the, the, the collector, Oz's big, terrifying shadow, whatever the heck, he's here. Shadow? Well, I can't see him. He's just robed and shadowed and huge everything's huge to you yeah i know it's not helpful anyway just he's here what do you want us to do razo and then razo's like he got his stuff you got the scarf yes no 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 you're supposed to have the scarf oh i'm sorry was i supposed to keep track of it it, not trying on your parade or anything, but if the big dude's here, probably not the time to be playing coy. Eh. <laughs> yes, you were supposed to have the scarf. That's kind of what your job was. Yeah, and our job was also supposed to get the money, but you took off. You or whoever was with us took off with the money. Yo, so she kind of wanted both things. She's going to get her money. That's, that's irrelevant. And you're sure this is all the money that she asked for? Yes. Oh, I was there. It was a big room, and it was a lot of money. I'm pretty sure this is it. And if not, I know where to get the rest of it. What? Hmm. I Very just well. grin at him. I just grin at him. What? Do you think we weren't going to keep an eye on you? Very well, then. In so, a very bamboozling couple of days. Of course I was going to freaking watch you. Uh, whatever. Let's just go and see this collector and get this done. <laughs> <laughs> and Stop that. Look at his face. Look at his face. No, Skunk's not going to do that. That's meant to display affection. <laughs> he is displaying malice right now, <laughs> or at least, a d or at least annoyance. <laughs> so the state we must aim for is neutrality. <laughs> All right. 
It is it is actually hard to earn genuine malice from skunk. <laughs> so yeah, Silver will grab the chest <laughs> and head outside, I guess. Alrighty. Uh Do we see a giant lumbering shadow that's uh, high above the... that rises high above the walls once we walk out? No. Uh... Then it's not humongous. No, it's not. Not really. Uh, so, you will see a very large, though still technically medium size, uh, a very large hooded figure that is making his way into town walking with confidence he knows he's supposed to be there everybody is giving him a wide berth and just running the heck away i'm sorry i thought you guys said he was larger than a giant i mean look at him no he's not larger than a giant have you ever seen a giant before he's as big as a giant come on he is medium size look at him silver's arguing with like random townsfolk yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought Raza was following along with us. Big talk coming from a little pony. I he, think he you'll is find that I'm following. Aphrodite. He is following, <laughs> but he's not the one arguing with Silver. Well, then who is arguing with Silver? Because she was arguing with someone. Some random motherfucker. <laughs> the guy who came in with, to the doorway, the gnome. Oh, fine. Is it the same guy that I booted the, next to the door or something? Yes, actually. Boo. Silver's just gonna look at the guy and be like, boo. Uh huh. <laughs> he run away. He... Good. <laughs> uh, well, that's the thing. Is he running away from Silver or is he running away from this mystery figure? Both. Yeah. 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 Alrighty then. Why? What? Yeah. Scarmiglione. I, I understand, but just. All right, so you are going oh, to hear... very impressive and scary. Uh, you are going to hear a very distorted and somewhat creepy sounding voice. I have come, to, coming from the hooded figure, I have come to collect. Do not make me wait. No, we're going to go with you to go see Aza, because we need to go see Aza anyways. Um. Um... So, Cat cut your tongue? Yeah. So, the hooded figure will hear Silver say this, and he'll look over to Silver. Yeah, and eat the chest. Stop for a second. Sees Razo and all of his mess. And uh, he will then pull back the dark hidden cloak, or the dark <coughs> cloak that he's wearing. And underneath, Ooh, less spooky. And underneath will be a uh, very, very uh, familiar person for at least some of the party. Go, go. I I say uh, go, referring to you. My friends. Huh? What, what? What? What brings you back to a bon? The uh, the person. Cheese. The, the person under the cloak is Cad. Is this what you've been doing? Just going around threatening people, dude? I had a contract <laughs> I had to fulfill. How don't you get a contract? You ever wonder why Aza stopped asking you for payments and blood money? And he does this oh, little no. awkward, Edge. like, this little awkward half grin and, like, a small wave. Hmm. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 time, time out, time, 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 time. You guys know each other? Yes. Damn, when did this world get so small? I don't know. I don't think it's small. We just tend to go <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, that doesn't... Uh, mm. You see, I only had a limited... I didn't know the payment stopped because of you, and... <laughs> it is important to note that uh, uh, that uh, whenever you guys were getting money and payment and things, that the blood money calls, which you guys were very 
uh, worried about because Aza hadn't called you in a while. Yeah, and she wouldn't tell us sh anything about it, one thing, but thing is like this one, it's like I'm silver and silver doesn't really know much about it. <laughs> so. Sometimes contracts work more than one direction. Well, you told her not to tell us? Not you specifically, but... Well, n n no, duh. I've, I was in hell. Okay. So, that there, there's a lot to potentially catch up on, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're tall. <laughs> He's a lot... <laughs> You're an elephant. He, he, he turns to... The skunk and is like and uh and I would say that you are short but you command quite a presence skunk just kind of grins ooh compliments not used to getting those at first meetings <laughs> also if you were gonna say I was short I would tell you you were wrong I'm actually really tall for a cobalt <laughs> and then Razo speaks up and is like wait 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 you know this guy apparently Shut they up. do pretty sure you Razo knows this guy. He does. He should, yeah. Yes. Who are you? <laughs> Cadrill <laughs> sort of turns his attention back to Razo and gets a really stern look on his face and is like, pleasantries aside, I do still have my task. And he holds out a hand and is like, if you please, Razo. <laughs> Razo will pass over the chest of gold, which is very easy it's for Cad to hold. Silver is holding the chest. She took the chest. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Silver's just like looking at Razzle like Uh-huh. How are you gonna get out of this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, give it to him. Who's talking? Razzo? Yes. I'm sorry, he wasn't asking me. He was asking you. <laughs> oh, for the love of <laughs> <laughs> Look, Come on. you, you, I really hate you, so I'm going to be shitty with you. Look, if you want to make the guy suffer, I can just breathe on him. You know, I've had No, a, uh, I want to stab him like a push pen. pen Look, yeah, but you see, if you kill him, then he stops feeling things, and then he doesn't, you know, then, well, then, then the catharsis him, go back to that fault. Silver, you may not like him, but Aza needs him to be alive. And to which Re Rezo would probably reply something to the affirmative, like, yeah, uh-huh, what, what he said. I would very much like to remain alive, yes. He won't continue you're a, making you're a liar. if he's dead, Silver. Yeah, but that's what, when you what, get what, someone hey. new in town. Someone who's not going to sit there and hide and do shady shit. Like he did with us again. Does Everyone he have an accomplice? Relative roles. I'll point at Razo and look at Cad. Hey, does he have a weird accomplice thingy? Like a shapeshifter or a or a body double? Asking or Cadrul. Some, yeah, or someone who just smells kind of musky. Cadrul shrugs. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is uh, Razo's my most recent assignment. Okay. Well, you gotta take the money back to Aza anyway, right? Uh, send it to her, yes. Oh, I can do that. I got a little baggie here. She is particular about appointments. You know how she works. No, I don't know how she works. Neither do I! I'm new here! <clears throat> uh, cad, skunk, skunk, cad. No, I got that. I didn't hear any name exchange, but okay. No, but you guys, like, said his name and, like, Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't introduce myself. Hi, I'm Skunk. There we go. Give him about a minute to get your scent and you'll be fine. Cadrill just like holds up an arm in his general direction and sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> skunk is just going to go scuttling over and start sniffing. <laughs> Ooh, papery. Candle wax. Red of dust. A lot of blood. Whoops. Yeah. Some ink, leather, steel. Ooh, fun. The skunk should probably get a perception check at a <laughs> All right. If, if, you're, if you're calling for that. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Or like Jasmine instance or something. 26. Um, 
Yeah, various expensive incense and uh, botanicals and such. Hmm. You smell like a walking forest, big dude. <laughs> Wait, where were you? Have you been in Bond the whole time? Um, pretty much. Uh, I left the group and came to see if I could settle the debt with Aza so that she would stop bleeding everyone dry. I mean, and she I think the party said they had enough to keep going, but okay. And she worked me a good deal, and I accepted it. And she's, for the most part, taken really good care of me. Also, there's the whole deal of you constantly flipping your shit out of nowhere. But that's out of character, what I just said. I yeah. was going to say, Stoke would not know this. <laughs> no, he would not, but I do. <laughs> So it's just gonna be like, so what? Do you have a bigger bag of pouch thing? He he nervously puts hands on either side of his belly. It's not that big. I I. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, I have been given a way to uh, send the items that I collect to Aza. Okay. Similar to how we did the uh, other debt. What other debt? Oh, yeah, that debt. Okay. I keep forgetting you guys were in a debt. So you are going to give her the gold, right? You don't miss out destroyed. I mean, you can go away. They're talking to Razo. Yes. Mm, no, he's got his part to play in all this as well. He has to stay here, and he has to uh, keep making payments to Aza. Well, I know. That's why I said he can go away, since I have the gold right here. Check, 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 check. Um, Casual sort of moves the hand that's outstretched towards you. Um, so that's for Mork, and in Razo's name, I can go ahead and I can submit that. I, I don't know how much... The amount was never said to me, but here you go. <laughs> it was a very big room's worth. I saw that myself. As much as Casual wants to double count the amount, because he probably does know the exact amount, uh, he would just uh, slide the the pouch or whatever around the edges and send it on its way, because uh, it'll be right, or uh, there will be um, That's a, a big writing of shacks. the issue. So. <laughs> Either way, that's uh, beyond him. He's a collector. That's it. That's collector, it. not a counter. Was it a and big haversack? There was an item as well. Yes. Maybe. And he looks expectantly at Razo, not knowing who has it. Yes, which they are supposed to have. Cadrill just sort of sighs. Silver, do you know who has the item? Do you know anything about the item? Well, I know quite a bit about the item. She was Pretty more worried about the item than the money, but it's the principle. That's why she's demanding both. So can we I go understand. ahead and get that secured on on its way as well, please? And we already sent a message to Aza about it. And like I said, we need to go talk to Aza. So I kind of got to have my cards here. For a whole num for like a growing number of reasons. Yeah, and also it's like Brazo wasn't really there but someone was. Yeah. yeah, there was a whole thing. So, again, Brazo. Coward. Yeah, whatever. I was told not to... not to pry too much on his methods that I would probably disagree with them. All that I was told was don't accept any excuses that it is the time to collect and pay and that's it. So... Mm hmm. So where's Aza at? I'm not sure. Well, let's go find her. You said you sent her a message. Did she reply? I mean, she did. To, well, she did say that she was sending you. But the thing is, we need to go talk to her because this small, amazing murder machine. I need to go see a dragon. Yep. Got a thing. Yo. I mean, I can try and get a request sent just as easy as you probably can. Hmm. I mean, kind of expected her to be here, but 
Guess I mean, not. She already, I mean, didn't she already agree to entertain the audience? It was just a matter of us reaching her? Like, before we even got here? I recall yes, that, I, I, like, I think... But the I, thing like, is, we, there was no sure way to make sure that that actually gets done, and I have a sure way to make sure that it actually does get done. Ooh. Well, it sounds like whatever that is would be between you and her, but okay. I do know that she's expecting this debt to be paid today, right now. I don't okay. know where she is at this exact moment. That's not exactly how we operate. Probably in her cave. <coughs> She travels abroad more than you would assume, but she could be at her cave, I suppose. She ain't just hunkered down and wait outside? No, that would probably be creepy. No, she doesn't want to be anywhere near this town. Mm. This is correct. <laughs> the so town I guess is let's required, start. but she doesn't want to be here. Well, if she's in a cave, she's probably in a mountain somewhere, so... I guess let's start heading towards the mountains again. So, just to clarify, you don't intend to give the item until you can use it as some sort of leverage against her? No, I currently have it as a leverage. I have it. And she is expecting it, and you are not going to give it for leverage against her? Yes, because I is want... This lies? Um, I know you're all afraid of a dragon. I'm not. Yeah, I have very good phone. reason for being afraid of a dragon, especially since it's a dragon I want to ask questions to. Without yeah, pissing off. And, exactly. and, and that's head. the thing. If we just yeah. hand over this scarf, what's going to guarantee her that she's not going to sit there and say, no, I changed my mind. I don't want any guests. Did any she pissing her off? Is that she would give you audience? Huh? Did oh, because that what she did? Word? Did she give you her word that she would grant you audience? I mean, Oak was the one who sent the spell asking the question, so Oak? Yay, nay, peppermint spray? When asked about seeing, seeing things and talking about Skunk, she did say that uh, she would be willing to speak up about that. She just didn't give any indication because it didn't have, uh, didn't have time. Oh, it wasn't a yes or no. It was a yes, but she didn't say where she was. So, it sounds like you will probably get more favor by completing a request for her than by holding something over her. If she gave you her word that she would grant you audience, then it sounds like she's already accepted that inevitability. And, we can, and you also and got a thing. <laughs> it's a dragon. They, they're they picky. They're royalty. They're noble. They don't just... You could also... Don't forget, this is not her town. This town's ways are not her ways. You're dealing with Aza. You're not dealing with Razo. Then he turns. I know up. I'm dealing no, with I'm... Ra Aza. Point is, you look, could also. So, so, so we're, so we're, so we're, hey, look, I get that we're all pissed right now, but can we just please not antagonize the dragon or play games with it? That's not a game we're going to win, and I really need these answers. So can we please just play nice with it? Her, please? And, like, Skunk actually looks distraught at this point. You can always confirm with her that she would be willing to talk to Skunk before you send the item. And who's saying this? Oak. Look, I'm just... Very paranoid. I get it. I understand. You also sound like shit. Holy hell, dude. Yes, I know. <laughs> Should probably be wrapping him? this up soon with how congested you're sounding. You sound like a clogged nozzle. Yes, my nozzles Accurate are clogged, description. yes. <laughs> It's about time for me to take uh, meds again. That's why it's starting to really get to me. Anyway, uh, so how about so we... Why don't we... Why don't we send to her what she has requested and then ask where and when she can meet us? That does sound like the most uh, logical course of action. I'm obviously yeah, And I don't trust it. I'm obviously biased in this because I work directly for her, but at the same time, I work directly for her. So I know that you're more likely to get your way by not making her mad. Just my own two cents on it. Even if you don't trust it, she's not going to go back on her word. She's not some selfish evil dragon. You don't know that. She's still a dragon. She can still say no. How about we ask? The worst that she can do is lie. Exactly. So, fucking fine. Here, take the damn scarf. 
go get the scarf out and toss it to Cad. There. He grabs it and, and tackles maniacally. <laughs> it disappears into a puff of purple smoke. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Of course. <laughs> um, <coughs> thank you. And sends it on its way as well. Okay, I'm done like with this little, town. With Me a little too. bow, he's like, so do we wait in town or where do you guys want to go? I would like to head to the capital. Okay. So I guess let's head to the capital. Yeah, right. I suppose. I mean, we Have also had another place to run to and... stop at some point, so we could maybe hit that on the way. Got We got someone tagging along with us. Where is Shauna, anyway? She's not here. Razos. Yeah, Razo said he was going to take her to her hometown, right, Razo? I have no idea what you're talking about. Then who was the one that was with us? Apparently, you've already figured out that it's not me, so. Exactly. So who was it? Do you even know, or were you bamboozled like the rest of us? Look, it's none of your business who that was. Oh, it is, because we need to make sure that she's actually, that girl is actually safe, because we said we want to make sure that she's safe. And if she's not, oh, oh, you don't have to worry about a damn dragon. And so besides all of I? that, he was with us for a while, so I'm inclined to agree that it is our business now. Look, the debt was paid. We want to make sure she gets to some place. We can do that. So who was it? That was with us. Sorry. Can't tell you that. Everything will work its way out. You don't have to worry about it. I don't trust you. Yes. Insight check. I realize that. That's why I'm not giving you any information you can use against me. Oh, how would I use it against you? I just need to make sure the girl is safe. Ooh, cat. If I find out... That something bad happened to her. This town is going to be gone. And you'll be nailed to that door. To that gate. As a fucking warning. Do you understand me? So go to wherever she wants to go and make sure she's there. She had better. You better not hope I have to hunt you down. There will be no place for you to hide from me. <sighs> and Silver will start heading... Ugh. East. She's just gonna head outside outside of the town. Yep. Skunk's gonna watch her go for a second, and then once she's a little ways away, he's gonna spin on Razo, march up, grab him by the collar of his shirt. Usually, I try to be a very, very nice person. I am patient. I am polite. I am nice. But if you've done anything to make a liar of me, then I'll show you why people say kobolds are related to dragons. I'll shove him back, and then I'll go marching after Silver. Okay. <laughs> Takes a lot to piss Skunk off. Razo, that threshold has been crossed. <laughs> Razo will sort of dust himself off and go back into his town. And I think that's where we can call it. Yeah, probably a good idea. You need to not be congested. Yeah. And we need all the time <laughs> in the world for Cad to play proper catch up with the rest of us. Holy shit. Um, I was not expecting him to turn up today. <laughs> Wasn't I am exactly how it was planned to shake out, but it's okay. <laughs> how many of your plans did I throw immediately off balance when I caught on to the fact that the guy traveling with us wasn't Razo? I was actually expecting the party to find out, and I had contingency plans on how the party would find out, but <laughs> it wasn't like whole story, hard stop, explain. That that <laughs> wasn't that wasn't part of it. <laughs> Were you expecting it to be Skunk who caught it? <laughs> like I said, there were multiple different uh, avenues. Yeah. But uh, I will share in front of everyone instead of just uh, Brian that I have, as of yet, still not played as Razo. So that was a, no, no, that was a funky figured. little thing that was stalking us around. <laughs> <laughs> We have been confronted by the forces of darkness. <laughs> yes, we have. For the umpteenth time. Skunk is, starting, <laughs> Skunk is starting to understand the disdain for this town and this continent. 
Yes. He conceptually understood it before. Now he's starting to uh, personally relate. It's like, oh yeah, no, this place fucking sucks. <laughs> I want to go home now. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, Anyways, outro. Yes. Mm. yes. Uh, this has been Jados. Can be Sam. Join us next time. David. This has been Shadows. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels right. <laughs> We're going to the Capitol next time. Uh... We're doing something. <laughs> yeah, we don't know yet. We're off to see. So the much anger. <laughs> the wonderful least... Wizard of Aza. Yes. Will oh, Razo you. survive? Uh, That's the question we'll find out next week. The thing is, if I say I hope not, that means he has done something to piss us off, and right now the main thing he could do to piss us off would get Shauna hurt, and I don't want Shauna to get hurt, so I hope not. (laughs) Mm. I hope he's fine at the end of all this. Uh.